Did you know there are two types of flat foot? Flexible and fixed. And I will explain to you now the mechanisms of injury. This is a flexible flat foot. It means that when you lift the arch, it moves. When you pull the big toe, the arch, it moves, it's flexible love. <laughs> this is a correctable flat foot. If your arch doesn't move, no matter how much you push it, it's fixed. That unfortunately will require surgery, my darling. And that, I'm afraid, is the bearer of bad news. However, if it is flexible, you may be able to save it. But no amount of this <laughs> and this will fix it for you. Why, you may ask. Everyone else tells me to do that. Because, my love, six years of biomechanics and a fucking degree tells us that your fascia is not a muscle. It is a ligament that connects a bone to another bone. We follow him. Therefore, you can't strengthen it through muscle strengthening exercises. Strengthen all your other muscles, but not your fascia. Your fascia is being pulled flat because this, your calf muscle, and possibly also your hamstrings, are tight. And they are all pulling down, further down the chain of your leg the chain of muscles in your leg and pulling on your Achilles, which is also pulling your flasher fat. Other things that might be happening is you might have a cavus foot. That is when your fascia is pulled tight. That is also from other muscles further up the chain, pulling on everything. But at some point as a child or a young adult, you have chosen to do one or two things with your feet in order to progress through the walking gait cycle. You have either decided to walk on your toes or flatten out like a duck. <laughs> and that is what most likely causes, in the beginning of our development, flat foot or caver's foot. However, there are other mechanisms of injury. You may have an underlying pathology, like you have suffered a stroke, you have MS. You have cerebral palsy. You have a degenerative condition. There are many out there. You may have a progressive condition. Also many out there. You may also have injured yourself. Spine, leg, ligament, posterior tibial tendon. That's a big one. That also helps lift your arch as well. So in order to know what exercises or recovery you need, you first need to understand your mechanism of injury. So you're either tight, weak, or slightly fucked. If you're slightly fucked, you're probably going to have to rest or have surgery or at least rest. Rest, 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 rest. And then rehabilitation back into normal. If you're tight, you need to stretch out. If you're weak, well, you can strengthen some things, other things you just can't. Sorry. Anyhow, the number one stretch for tightness. Dorsiflexion stretches. Leg extended. Foot up. You're welcome.